Okay, so unit two, unit two scene text, uh, Latin poetry. Um, so this is how we'll do it in um, in lockdown, but also maybe even in class. Uh, so we're looking at um, Catullus and Horace, Catullus first. Uh, so just a translation guide um, and at the um, maybe about a poem, a long poem or maybe two short poems uh, per class and should get done by the end of our term. So what's at the end of it is a scene sack. So just basically just translating and also accents and syntax on um, all the words as well for which a guide um, will be given. So, <clears throat> so let's start with Catullus, whose full name was Gaius Valerius Catullus, only lived for 30 years. Um, and when you think of just all the, well, as I say, like my favorite part of Roman history, the first century BCE, so the move from Republic to Empire, Caesar's assassination. And when like you think all the prominent, like prominent writers and poets um, were, around. So you have uh, political figures, um, Julius Caesar, Augustus Caesar or Octavian, um, you have the triumvirates um, and you have uh, Virgil, you have Horace and you have Catullus. So as the notes say, so these are notes that you would take um, in your book normally, but I'll just put them on here for you in a lecture. He was the first love poet in Roman literature. So um, it started off as public performance. And so when you think about, say, for example, the um, Aeneid, the Aeneid is meant to be read aloud. Uh, so he moved towards what we are traditionally more used to. So poetry as in expressing more personal feelings, thoughts, emotions. Um, but if you think about it, like even now, um, say the phenomenon, uh, the very recent phenomenon of slam poetry, maybe bringing poetry back to a public stage as it started off um, as in Roman times. So as we'll see, he dealt with rather trivial subjects to the profound. So there are some uh, very deep uh, topics covered and there are some which are quite minor. Uh, so by deep, I mean, um, yeah, love related. So, so. We'll pick a selection <clears throat> of poems. Um, and the first one is uh, Catullus number five. And this is addressed, um, most of them, I think, I think most of them, the title is to someone. So this one is to Lesbia, who was a love interest of Catullus, um, believed to be a woman called Claudia Metella. So I'll just go over the translation, of how the Latin works for you. So, we wamos. Uh, if you want to do the ANS for this, first person, plural, present, active, subjunctive. So, Joseph subjunctive, let us live, vocative, o mea lesbia, o my lesbia, atque, and let us love, amemos. So, there we have third conjugation, first conjugation, diamond. So, she wears a diamond, so third and first, respectively, different stems. Que, uh, after remorse is like putting, remember, et. Um, after remorse is like putting et before. And um, let us value. So, aistimemus. With the amus stem, it must be another um, first conjugation verb, just a subjunctive. Let us value, like the word estimate. All the rumours. So, um, you've got to get used to non-regular word order. So, there's... This doesn't follow, this is not dactylic hexameter, um, but you just have to get used to the fact that, um, that words will be out of order to fit into a rhythm or a meter. So all the rumors, omnes rumores, of rather harsh old men. So these two words are genitive plural, senum senibus senibus, sewerior rum mebus ebus. So eor, is um, comparative, 
Um, you could say harsher old men, but it's not really being compared to anything. So an alternate mm, secondary meaning of the comparative can be rather and then the adjective. So rather harsh old men. Uh, to be worth, to be worth is kind of uh, understood meaning. So you just got to add that in. Um, and then here we have something in the genitive. So be, to be worth of, but we just say to be worth. We'd say a single or one assis is the word for a coin or a penny. So we're not going to um, value it a lot. So value what they say and he's giving it a monetary value. So it's like worth one cent, for example. The sun can set and rise. So solace, literally suns. Um, don't know why it's plural, but just to fit into the meter, I guess. Um, maybe the sun, what one sun on one day is saying different from another sun on the other, even though it's the same. It's the one sun, but you know, different sun, sun rises and sunsets for every day. Can always has to be followed by uh, infinitives, and it joins the two infinitives, so it joins two similar words. Um, can die, but when we're talking about the sun, vocab 34, it means uh, set. Et redire, and literally return, rights. So with the, what he says, like with the you know, cycle of day and night. Uh, when once light briefly fell for us. Cum, when, once, semel, light, a brief light, brevis, uh, looks. So, um, so yeah, both the declension, adjective and noun. Uh, literally a brief light or light briefly, you can say. Okidit, fell for us. So say we had our time in the spotlight in a way, like what I think is what he's trying to say is like um, our time together. We must sleep together when once light briefly fell for us. Uh, we must sleep together for an entire night. Uh, now this is a gerundive of obligation. So literally an entire night, a perpetual, I like the word perpetual, Nox. Uh, so yeah, any other than dukes and rakes, any third declension noun ending in X is invariably feminine. So that's what perpetua. Literally, is dormienda, that's also feminine, to be slept, understood by us. Um, it could be one night. So it could be una nox perpetua. Or could be una, which is an adverb meaning together. So we must sleep together. Then you have uh, pretty much a lot of repetition here. So da is give. Mihi. Uh, me is short for mihi. So obviously it's me just to fit into the meter. So give to me. Mille is in decline. I think it's a... Uh, oh, no, it's not indeclinable, but it's... um. Oh, actually, it might be indeclinable, but... um. Uh, a thousand, mille, like the word millennium, mil, uh, basia, kisses. Now that's um, that's new to plural. Uh, if you've heard of those chocolates called baci, um, they are kisses in Italian. So give me a thousand kisses, deinde, kentum. So just let's count the kisses, 1,100. Dein's just short for deinde again. Altera mille, another thousand. Day in, then a secunda kentum, then a second hundred, so 2,200. Day in there, usque altera mille, then even another thousand. Day in there, kentum, then a hundred, so even 300. Day in, then, uh, when, cum, we will have made future perfect, so first person plural, future perfect active indicative. We will have made, or you can just say we have made, could also be perfect subjunctive. Multamilia, many thousands, that is of kisses. Uh, conturbabimus, so future tense, first person plural, active indicative. We will jumble the count. So literally we will turba, we'll crowd them together. They'll mix them all up. So you can imagine like, let's say for example, I don't know, um, all the kisses are 3,300 jelly beans and, you know, we'll mix them all up. So literally throw those things, that is the kisses, into confusion. 
neskiamus, uh, so here is a perp negative purpose clause, so that we may not know. And just to finish off, is this one, so that we may not know, or so that no one ought, um, or not anyone, literally. So ne is just a, um, <clears throat> ne is just a variation of known. Uh, not anyone, you can just say no one. Oh, no, no, sorry, what am I saying? Um, oh, ne is like saying ut no, yeah. So, so that not anyone, yes. So, so it's just, um, because there has to be a second um, subjunctive here. So it's just the ne skiamos ne posit, yeah. So that not anyone malus evil may, uh, yeah, so loosely you can say may be able to cast the evil eye, but yes, not anyone evil may envy understood us. So not anyone evil uh, may be able, posit, present subjunctive, first per, third person singular active, in, active subjunctive, to envy. Uh, which takes a dative for the record, but there's no object here. It just understood. Cum, when he may know, skiat, so another uh, print subjunctive, exactly the same um, ANS as posit. Tantum, how many basiorum, a partitive genitive, I'll make this a capital by the way, because it's a special name. How many of kisses essay there were? Uh, it could, you could, could be an indirect statement, I think. So when he may know that there were how many of kisses? Yeah, something like that. Okay, so that's the first of quite a few, um, quite a few uh, poems, Catullus and Horace, which will constitute your, um, sack about mid next term um, for which you'll have a scene translation on this and also um ans will be split into halves by the way so you translate half there'll be a halfway point so you, you pick um you pick uh parts to translate in the first half and then there'll be 10 ans words from the second half um yeah i'll have more details later about that Okay. Hey.